Now I'm going to show you how to cut away part of a selection. If you've not already done so, please subscribe to the Help Video Guru channel on YouTube. Now we're starting out here with a circular selection from which I want to cut out a pie shaped area. I'm going to select the third tool down on the tool palette, click and hold, and choose the polygonal lasso tool. Now holding down the Alt key on the keyboard, I can begin outside the circle or the selection, click to, be to start the beginning of my cutaway, and then uh, with the polygonal lasso tool what you do is just it's like connect the dots. You click to create the next point in your selection and then you see that I could choose now any wedge along the circle starting from the initial line that I drew. So let's go about here and click once again. Now you'll notice that in drawing my cutaway here I'm actually going at some points outside of the original selection. That's fine. These areas, since they're just, uh, everything's just being cut away from the selection, uh, these overlapping areas won't affect your original image in any way whatsoever. To close the selection, the cutaway, go to the your original starting point and click. And now you'll see that our selection is now only the area that I did not cut away. Now I can click on our colors here, switch to something else, a red, go to the paint bucket, and click within our selection. And now I have an image that reminds you of a uh, pie graph. Right? And of course, if we so wish, we can cut away even more. Choose a different color, perhaps yellow this time. our new color in the pie chart. All right. Now we can select and deselect and we're left with our final image. Please see my other videos for more help and tutorials. If you found this video tutorial useful, please subscribe to Help Video Guru on YouTube for updates and new info.